Hey everyone, welcome. It's Jen with Let's Get Chalkin' with Jen, Independent Couture A with Chalk Couture. As you come in, <laughs> please make sure you say hello, and in the bottom left corner of your mobile devices is a share button. If you are catching me live, you will see the red box in the upper corner. If not, totally cool, you guys. You can catch the replay, or if you're watching on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe to my channel for all the fun, crafty videos we have coming. Hey, you guys, welcome. I'm back. I'm home. Yay, so glad to be home. First off, I want to say welcome to all you new followers. You guys, we hit 400, four, I'm sorry, 4,000, 4,000 followers. That's so awesome. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I hope you are loving all these fun, crafty projects that we're creating using Chalk Couture products. For those of you that are new, real quick, this is what we are. Chalk Couture is a revolutionary concept in DIY home decor and crafting. You won't find our products anywhere else. You, we do offer a line of silkscreen reusable transfers. You guys, these are all reusable. Hey Kelly, hey Laura. So you can use these anywhere from eight to 15 times. We do have our Chalkology chalk paste and we have our amazing Couture inks. We do offer several surfaces like chalkboards, box wood frame, dry erase, or I'm sorry, um, canvas pillowcases and totes. But you can use our products on wood, glass, tin. You can make t-shirts, pillowcases, and so much more. But the greatest thing that I can offer to you is this DIY home decor business opportunity for $99. You guys, you get this amazing kit right here that has over $240 worth of products. If you love what you see, what I'm doing today, reach out to me. I would love to share that information with you. You guys, this journey has been amazing for me. And we have actually been challenged as um, designers from my upline, Sarah, who is absolutely amazing, um, to do a like 10 day video. Uh, and it's been really cool. I actually am kind of a day behind because I was away in Pittsburgh. But um, just a little bit about me. I want to let you guys know I am a mom. I have three boys. They are 24, 18, and uh, he's going to be 12 this month. You all know Matthew. You've seen him in my videos. Um, I actually do work full time uh, in retail. I've been a retail manager for many, many years, hoping, fingers crossed, that by the end of the year, I might be able to be a full time chalk couturist, although I love chalk couture and I do a lot of this full time anyway. But uh, other than that, how I got started, you guys, was really, really cool. I have actually been with Chalk Couture since November of 2017. I went to a workshop, one of those, at, like everybody calls them paint parties and things like that. So we had a local studio here that did those types of things. And I went and I fell in love with the concept of having fun with your girlfriends doing DIY projects. You guys, DIY is one of the hottest trends that is on the market. So when I tell you our company is right where you need to be, we totally are as far as a business opportunity. So I came home from this pro the, the event that I went to with my great friend and uh, we, had, we had a fabulous time, I'm not gonna lie. It was a great time. I loved it and I came home and I told my husband, you know what, I want to do this. It is a great way for women, men, husband and wives, whatever, to get together and create beautiful projects on their own, right? So I fell in love with it. I started doing research. I started looking into having my own studio. Long story short, the cost of actually having a brick and mortar wasn't for me. It, it just wasn't in my cards. It wasn't going to happen. And for whatever reason, Chalk Couture popped up in my newsfeed, you guys. Literally just popped up in my newsfeed. And I was like, what is that? Sight unseen. I joined to become a designer. And it it's just been flat out amazing ever since. I do a lot of in-home workshops here in my area in New Jersey. And we are loving it. I mean, you guys see all this stuff behind me. These are things I have created since I started with Chalk Couture. And I can tell you, it has been the best thing as far as 
product, as far as opportunity, as far as friendships that I could ever ask for. And I just love sharing this with others. So I wanted to share that with you because not only can I offer you a business opportunity, whether you're looking for something full-time or part-time, I can offer you a fun girls night out. I can offer you amazing products to create your own DIY home decor. And we're gonna do a fun project today. Um, this is part of one of our new collection. Hey Gail, hey Melissa, welcome you ladies. Um, this is part of one of our new collections that we have out and we call them Chalk Stories. Now you can buy these all individually, you guys. Everything is actually right on my website, chalkingwithjen.com. But they, the company actually came out with something called Chalk Stories where there are several different transfers that kind of work together, okay? And you saw me do this one. This was one of the lives I had already done um, to create this design. So this was kind of part one. And now I'm going on to part two of this collection. And then this will be part three. So there are several transfers that can work together to make beautiful DIY. Oh, Gail, I'm so glad you're loving your chalk couture. It's just, it's amazing. But you guys, as I go through this, if you are interested um, in learning about what products I'm using today, just comment products below and I'll make sure to get you the product list of everything I am using today, okay? So this collection, or I'm sorry, this transfer is actually called Home is Where the Honey Is. And I love it because my honey always calls me honey and I call him honey. So cute, right? I know. So I'm going to be using this transfer today. And the real nice thing about our products, you guys, is right on the back of all of our transfers, if you are just a customer, it tells you how to peel, apply, remove, clean, dry, and store. Because like I mentioned, these are all reusable. So even though I'm doing this design today on this transfer, if I wanted to do something different, I could. Like how cute would it be to maybe just do a t-shirt with our inks in like the little honeybee, um, you could just use the word honey or something like that. I mean, totally endless possibilities of what you can create. And that's why I love our products so much. So all I'm going to do. Oh, super awesome, Kelly. I'm glad you. Yeah, I think. I think you did order this. Did you order this one or did you order the other one? But it, it's a great transfer. Like I said, it's the whole collection. Um, all I'm going to do is cut right across these lines. I know everybody is loving this transfer. It's a really great transfer. So like I said, if you want the product list, just comment that below and I will make sure I send you a private message and get you the whole list of products with the links so that you can look at it and see what you think. And then also, you guys, if you are interested and you want to be a part of my no, it's the one I got you. Oh, okay, Kelly. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, if you want to be a part of my VIP group, I do have a private VIP group, you guys, where I do offer specials and bundles at times. And this is actually going to be one of the bundles that I'm going to be offering where you will get the surface, you will get the transfer, and then you're going to get some chalk paste singles. So if you're interested, just make sure you comment VIP below and I'll make sure I add you to my private VIP group so you can get that special pricing on that as well. Okay, so now I am just going to write on the back of all of our transfers. Again, you want to make sure you do this. Reason being, when you're done cleaning these, you have to put them back on their carrier sheets and you want to make sure you put them on the correct side. And I'm just doing simple. I'm just writing back on these. You could write the name. It's entirely up to you on how you want to do that. Okay. Now I'm going to do something really fun on this live today, you guys. First off, I want to tell you, I am going to be doing a giveaway. Okay. So all you have to do to be entered into the giveaway is to share this video. And I am going to give away a sample pack for you to try of our products. So remember, in the bottom left corner, where am I at? Over here. You should see your share button if you're using a mobile device. Share this video, 
comment shared, and one lucky winner is going to win a sample pack. It has a mini transfer. It's got our little circle. It's got a squeegee and a chalk paste in there, a sample chalk paste. And I will make sure we get a winner drawn, and somebody's going to win. So I'm so excited. I can't wait for you to try our products. All right, let me get that off my screen. Hey, here's my helper today. He's Hi. home from school today because we were away this weekend. All right, so now... Here's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go. I'm going to put this in the background. I'm going to put these two over here. So I am going to be using our Chalkology Chalk Paste today. Now I'm going to be using our Bumblebee. I'm going to be using our Black. Now you guys, our Chalk Paste comes in a three ounce jar. Oh, hey Tracy. Hey Tanya. Thanks for sharing and thanks for watching. So our chalk paste, you guys, is water soluble and semi-permanent. So it goes on as a liquid and dries as a solid. Now, do you see this? I'm glad this happened right now. The chalk paste is good for a year if it's unopened or six months. Thanks for sharing, Diane, if it is not. But the one thing you have to check is your chalk paste, you want it to be like a yogurt sour cream consistency. If it is not and it is thick just like this, you're going to take some water and spray it in there to make it the consistency that you are looking for okay so I've just added some water distilled water is better um, I am using just regular tap water but they tell us that the distilled is better oh Kelly I will make sure I get you that product list when we are done off of our live today I hope you love this so I'm just going to stir this up. Da, da, da. Now for this design, I am going to do a little bit, um, a little bit of like an ombre look on certain parts. So I just want to get all my chalk paste ready. And this is one of my smaller jars. This was what we used to sell. This was the size. So don't mind that it's smaller. We don't carry these anymore. I just had a lot of black chalk paste in the smaller jars. So I just want to get these all ready. And if you guys have any questions as we're going along, please feel free to ask. I would love to, uh, to uh, answer those for you. And again, remember, I am doing a giveaway for a product sample if you share this video. So just stirring that up, making sure it's the consistency that I want. And I can add water if I'm not happy. I don't like that. That's not a good consistency. All right. Dude, how is everyone doing on this Wednesday afternoon? Oops. I got little flakes everywhere. Sorry, you guys. I got little flakes all over my board. All right, and then I need one other color. I need my bark. Because I want to make sure I put a little bit of darker hand in there. Now, if you want to, you don't have to use bark. Like, we have this really pretty color that is a shimmering gold. It does have a sheen to it. It looks really pretty with it as well, and I'll show you that. But I'm going to be using the black, the bumblebee, and the bark today but this is also another option you guys it's called our shimmering gold okay just wanted to share that with you because I do have that listed on the product list okay so I've got my chalk paste ready ready to go super excited for you guys oh awesome I'm so glad you're doing well hey hey Shaleen welcome so you guys, this is actually one of our surfaces as well. This is our, it's like six and a half by 18 and a half box frame. Really, really nice board that we do offer through Chalk Couture. What I love about it is not only can you chalk on the front, but you can also chalk on the back, which is really awesome. And I have done that. Tracy, you can reuse the transfers anywhere from eight to 15 times. You clean them up with water, you wipe them off with a Clorox wipe, you let them air dry, and then you can reuse them over and over again. I have gotten a lot more uses out of them, um, but again, it just depends on how you clean them. So 
the one thing I want to tell you is if you are wax or I'm sorry, if you're using like wood or if you want to use cardstock, which I've done videos on that as well, I always recommend waxing your surface. It's a just it's a lot easier on your transfers and it's better for your chalk paste if you wax on certain surfaces and wood is one of them. So I definitely did wax this board already and let me just show you. It's, it's just a regular wax. I use the Minwax finishing paste in a natural. All you're gonna do, super easy peasy you guys, is you get some paper towel, you put your, you know, put it right in there, you get some on there, and you rub it all over your board, okay? Then you wipe off any excess, you, you know, throw this away, you let it dry for like 10 to 15 minutes, and then you can go ahead and start your process. Like I said, it's just easier on your transfers um, because sometimes you could pick up little wood slivers, not from these boards so much, but I still like to wax these just because, all right? So let's get started. So when you have your transfer, you're gonna take your finger and you're gonna rub it, rub it, rub it right over the edge to get it started. I recommend not picking at the corners, but rubbing it over the edge. I like to flip mine over and then remove my transfer from, or remove my carrier sheet from the transfer, okay? Now, I'm not gonna fuzz this up. You can if you want to, I'm not going to. But I'm gonna put this right in my center. I'm so excited to do this design, I can't wait. Okay, I'm gonna smooth it out so there's no air bubbles in my silk screen. You guys, this, here, let me, I don't know if I can show you. This here is silk screen. Do you see how you can kind of see like a fuzz over that? This is all silk screen. So if you've ever worked with like vinyl, so to speak, and you have to do all that weeding and things like that, you do not have to do that with our transfers. These are already made so that all you're doing is applying your chalk paste or your ink to your area. I just wanna make sure it's straight in my eyes. You can measure it if you want to. I'm not going to. All right. So I'm going to kind of do a little bit of an ombre on this part. All right. So what that means, I got my squeegee right here. I'm going to take some yellow chalk paste, and I'm just getting my little scooper here. I don't have to do it that way. I'm going to get that, and I'm going to use a little bit on the bottom and a little bit on the top. Okay. I'm going to get my squeegee, and I'm going to pull this across my area where I want the yellow. Okay, and I don't want to mix them yet. And then I'm going to get my squeegee and pull the brown across. Any excess you guys put right back in your jars. You don't want to waste your chalk paste if you don't need to. And then I'm going to get my finger and kind of blend these together. Just kind of like a little circle to give it an ombre type of effect. Okay, and then I don't like, I've got a line in here. So I'm just going to get those off of there the best I can. Okay, and then I'm going to take my transfer. Oh, it's so cute! How does that look? No, Kelly, the sample pack is just, it's a sample. Thank you, Gail. Um, it has like a little mini transfer with a little mini chalkboard and then a chalk paste and a squeegee. So that's what's going to come in a sample pack. It's not going to be this design. That looks so good, you guys. I love it. Okay. So I'm just going to use my hair dryer to dry this up a little bit. My little honey jar. And all you have to do, you guys, like I said, you have to make sure you comment share. And when you share this video, your name's going to go into a drawing for that sample pack. Super easy peasy. All right. And I'm going to take my little, my little honey spoon. This reminds me of Winnie the Pooh so much, right? 
Do I want to go? No, I definitely want to go this way. Super cute, right? This is so cute. I so love this. I love this transfer. All right, so again, I'm just going to use my bark. I think I'm just going to use my bark for the stem. And then I'll use this, my bumblebee, for the top. And I love that all of our transfers have like such detail and like some distressing in some parts. I absolutely love that. Again, I just kind of want to make sure I blend that a little bit. Okay. Ta-da! Diane, our products are super, super cool. I absolutely love and what's really neat, if you check out some of my other videos, what's really awesome is the fact that if you're doing this on something non-porous, so like if you're doing this on a chalkboard or um, if you actually have a wood that is like stained, sorry, trying to place this and talk, um, that is stained, you can actually remove your designs if you don't seal them, which is really, really super cool. So for each and every season, you could change out your designs, and it's really awesome. If I have something, I'll show you that. I'll show you how it works. It's really, really awesome, you guys. So I got my honeycomb there. I've got my honeycomb over here. I'm going to do two honeycombs. All right, so I think I'm gonna try, I think I'm gonna try to do something here. I need my multi-purpose tool. We have this really, really awesome tool. And by the way, you guys, we do carry all the tools and squeegees, which is really awesome. Hey Sandy, how are you? So this is our multi-purpose tool. What I love about this is it allows you to get into the smaller areas, okay? So again, just gonna take my bumblebee chalk paste I'm going to pull this across the areas that I want to use. So now I'm concentrating a little bit. I might get quiet. No making fun. And you, it's really, this is really a fun girls night out, you guys. I can't even begin to tell you. Even a couples night out. We have some really cute transfers where like husband and wives could get together and do something like that. So the design possibilities are just endless. Oops, I missed a part. So this is why I love this multi-purpose tool is like I can get a little bit closer with this into smaller areas. So I do love this tool. And my honeycomb, it might not be perfect. But again, it's DIY. And who doesn't love it? All right, you guys, I missed one little part with my yellow. So I just want to go back over that right here. I got Chip and Joanna in the background over here if you hear it. Sorry. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like, I swear, this is every time I do it, it's like the coolest stuff ever. I love this stuff. All right, let's do this side. Do our honeycombs. Oops, I got some on my frame. I'll get that off with water. And like I said, if you want the product list of the items I am using today, just comment product below and I will make sure I private message you the list of the items that we use to make this design today. Okay. So I'm just 
going over this, scraping off my excess. You don't want to waste your chalk paste if you don't need to. Ta-da! And then I've got a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, still have a little cough, right on the edge. Just wiping that off with a Clorox wipe, you guys. No big deal. Comes off. Okay. All right, so I do need to dry because I'm going to be layering. So you always need to make sure that your bottom layer is dry if you're going to layer over top. All right. And you can tell, you might not be able to see it on here, but if you're doing it in person, you usually can see the difference in the top paste color when they start to dry. I'm pretty good. I can touch it. Yeah, I'm good. All right, so now I'm not going to use all the pieces, obviously. So I'm going to do the home is where, and then your honey is down here. And that's going to all be in black. Easy peasy. And for you guys who have never seen this before, I just want to show you this. So this is my transfers off to the side. I just have them in a tub of water, nothing fancy. I mean, you could totally put this in your sink, but when we get off of here, I'm gonna clean them up, like I said, with a Clorox wipe, and then I'll let them air dry to reuse over and over again. All right, so again, removing my transfer. Bring that back. Okay, and you guys, if you want, this is my website. If you wanna check some things out, as we're going along, you absolutely can. So I'm just gonna place this down over top because like I said, we are layering this. I knew I was gonna do this. Just wanna make sure I'm even as I can be. Just make sure. So I'm smoothing that out so there's no air bubbles in my silk screen. This is all silk screen. Wait till you see how awesome letters come out. Like that always amazes me. When I do events and I do lettering, people are always like, what? That's crazy. But yes. Okay. I'm going to take my black chalk paste. And I'm just going to put some on here. I'm going to get my squeegee. Pull it across my silk screen. Scrape off any excess, you guys. And you are scraping. You're not like lightly painting. You are scraping this so that you are getting your chalk paste inside that silk screen. All right. Are you ready for this? Are you ready to see the words? Go ahead and get my corner up over here. Oh my gosh, this is, I swear, I just love it. Ta-da! Look how awesome you guys, loving that. After you wash and dry them, you attach them back to the back. Yes, after you wash and dry these, you are actually gonna put them right back onto their carrier sheets, okay? Now remember when I was saying you wanna make sure you write on the back right? It's just easier if you write on the back so you know what side they go on. If for some reason you do not, if you can see, you see how this side has a little bit of a shiny side? That's the side your transfer does go on in case you happen to not write on the back. So one side is kind of like flat, black, like a mat, and the other one does have that little bit of shine to it, okay? Just, just so you know. All right. You know what, let me dry that just in case. I don't want my transfer to hit.
Are you guys loving it? Look how cute it turned. It's turning out so cute. So it's really cool that you can use our products on so many other surfaces, you guys. And then we also have a really great line of inks. So if you're looking to make like pillowcases or t-shirts or dish towels, you can even do this on like tote bags, canvas tote bags, aprons. Um, we do have a line of inks, which are really awesome as well, that you can make those designs using these same transfers that you're just using right here, right now. So that's what's so awesome. Okay. So again, just smoothing that out. All right, I'm going to take my chalk paste, pull it across, and I think I got a little too much, but that's okay. Scraping it across there, you guys, scraping it. You don't want it. It's not like you're painting, you're scraping. I don't know if you can hear that. Scraping off any excess, putting it back in the jar. Okay. Put my squeegee in the water. Ta-da! Look how cute, you guys. I love it. My husband's going to love us. This is actually going to go right on my window seal. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love it. Now, let me dry it before we keep going. Do you guys love this? Oh my gosh. Give me some hearts. Give me some thumbs up if you absolutely love this. Just going to dry this up a little bit. So Kelly, if you want to, you absolutely can seal your projects. Um, I don't, oh, it's, I actually, <coughs> I ran out of sealer, but the sealers come in like an aerosol can. This isn't one you would want to use, but it's a, um, it's a Krylon sealer that you would just spray all over your board and let it dry. And that's what will seal your project if you don't ever want to change it. Okay. So you guys, I've got this done. And then I thought, how cute would it be? You could like add maybe a cute little bow off to the side if you want to, something like that. You would just get some hot glue, glue this right on there. Super easy peasy. And I don't know, I know I've shown this really quick bow tutorial. One of our, um, we have a, a designer that is within the Chalk Couture organization. She shared how to make bows um, and it was absolutely amazing. Super simple and easy. So you cut your piece of ribbon, you fold it as if you were making like a, um, a loop, a, some, a, a cancer loop, something like that. Okay. And then you just bring it down and pinch it. Okay. And then you would just get a piece of string and tie it right in the middle. Let me see if I have handy, handy, handy dandy. I'll use this. Oh, here it is. It's right in front of me, Jen. You can get like a piece of string, tie it in the middle after you pinch it. Just tie it in the middle. And then you would play with it to create your cute little bow and you can cut the bottom. So that's just a really quick, simple way that you can create your own bow. Oops. I didn't tie my knot, sorry. Let me tie the knot. But super easy peasy way to just add a cute little embellishment, you guys, to your design. You could do something like that. Or what I thought would be really, really cute is, I, I'm like obsessed with twine right now, is you could totally like take a piece of twine to kind of give it like a farmhouse look. Oh, I hit you guys. And just kind of like wrap it here I'm just gonna do this real quick but I'm just wrapping it around the end just like this you just wanted to add like a little farmhouse cut type of decor you could like totally do that like right on the ends if you wanted to do something like that as well so super cute super easy 
Yeah, exactly. you could get your glue gun, glue it right on there. Just something cute if you wanted to add to it. Like I said, I like using twine off to the side of my design. So super easy if you wanted to, you know, add a little bit more embellishment to it. You absolutely could, you guys. So I hope you really love this design. Like I said, don't forget if you want to share, share this video. Everyone that shares will be entered in to win a free sample pack. It's going to have a mini transfer, a chalk paste single, a surface, and your squeegee right in there if you share the video. You guys, if you are interested in the product list of everything I use today from Chalk Couture, comment product below and I will make sure I get that to you as well. Now I did say that I would show you, because some of you I think are new, and I want to show you something really, really cool. So if you would not seal, like if you do not seal your products and you ever want to change out your designs. So think of, think of, think of how cool this is. If you've got like a larger chalkboard, cause we have some really great big transfers and surfaces and you want to change out your design because of the season. Oh, thank you guys so much for sharing. Thanks for watching Lisa, Diane, Tracy. Thanks so much. Um, but you have your design and you want to change it out for a new holiday season, okay? This is how cool it is if you do not seal your project. First and foremost, I want to show you, you can touch this. Anybody can touch your design once it's dry. It's not going to come off, okay? But if you want to remove your design, you just take some water and you spray it right onto your design, okay? This is just regular water, all right? I'm gonna take something we call, this is our board eraser. Thank you, Michelle, I'll make sure I get that to you. So I've got this sitting here for a couple minutes. I'm gonna take my board eraser, you guys, and then I'm gonna go right over this. So I gotta give it a little bit more water. And I can totally change out my design with our chalk paste as long as it is on a non-porous surface. Okay, so check this out. Just think of all the great things you could create for each and every season. And remember, the transfers are reusable, so each and every season that comes around, if you want to put your design right back on, you absolutely can do that. So how cool is this, right? For those of you that have not seen it, isn't that just so awesome that you now have a brand new surface. I'm just gonna dry it up, sorry. That you were able to chalk on and do a whole new design. And that's it, easy peasy guys. So if you loved what you saw today, you thought what I was doing was one of the coolest things. You want to know more information. Oops, I got some water on my board about being a designer. Um, just comment that you're interested in being a designer. Comment designer below and I will make sure I get you that information as well. You guys, I thank you so, so much for being on this live with me today. Um, I greatly appreciate it for those of you that shared. Again, stay tuned. Um, I'm going to let this run until tomorrow. And for anyone that shared, you will be entered in to win that sample pack, you guys. And I hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday. And I will talk with you soon. Have a great day.